Hey everyone, welcome to this new episode of Stephen's Week, the weekly update on marketing and technology. And as in the last two weeks, I'm going to focus on the Corona news that is related to my field of expertise, customer experience and marketing. Welcome to this new episode, everyone. Instacart wants to hire 300,000 new employees. Uh, Instacart is like an digital interface that people in the US can use to uh, buy their groceries. They can go to Instacart and you can select your favorite grocery store and then you select all the products you want and they go to the store, they shop for you and then they bring it to your house. Uh, Instacart was already one of the, the leading players in this field and Instacart really boosted when Amazon acquired Whole Foods a couple of years ago because at that moment all the other retailers were like, okay, Amazon will invest so much in the digital part of Whole Foods that we need to act as well. And the fastest way forward was to work with Instacart. Now, two years later, we're in the, in the middle of the Corona crisis and you see that they want to hire 300,000 people. Um, it only shows the, the boom that we're seeing right now in the usage of digital tools online commerce, buying groceries online. Uh, this means that there are many people um, in the US that are starting to buy groceries online for the very first time. They will see how convenient this is. And this will change behavior in, uh, towards online groceries forever. Uh, this is a barrier that is gone and I don't think it will come back. Maybe you've seen in the news that in some hospitals they are using these snorkeling masks for, uh, to help people breathe better and scientists are reworking and, and reinventing these masks to make sure that they can be used in hospitals. Well, these masks were basically invented by Decathlon, the sports retailer. And um, the moment that Decathlon saw that these masks can be used in hospitals to save lives, they stopped all sales of them and they give them away to hospitals in France, Spain and Italy to add their share in helping out society. There is a new marketing platform where companies are starting to advertise and it is the background of Zoom meetings. Um, most of you are probably experimenting with Zoom and one of the things is add a virtual background so you can leave the dishes behind you and nobody sees it and you use a virtual background. Now some companies like Audi or Taco Bell are now using uh, this platform as an advertising space to interact with their fans like Audi made some backgrounds where you can see some of their cool vehicles and it's for them a way to connect with their with their fans and it gives the fans the opportunity to you know show their brand identification so I thought that was a funny new thing as soon as we see an opportunity brands jump into it and start to advertise on those new platforms. So this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share it with your friends and colleagues. I really hope to see you again next week for a new episode of Stephen's Week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye-bye, everyone.